Welcome to another edition of Eat My Shorts. Today we'll talk about decompression and why it matters. Sunday reflections, right? There are a few days that I dislike more than Sunday for reasons that I might as well get into. As a kid, I was forced to go to church. I hated every minute of it. I was forced to go to church school, too. I hated even more of that. Until one day, and I was probably about 12, 13 years old, my dad kind of rescued me from that shit. He finally had had enough of it. You know, my mother kind of was her idea. And it kind of, you know, left a bad taste for the activity. I don't really care for it. So Sundays have never been my thing. In this town that I live in, the streets used to roll up on Sunday. You couldn't go anywhere to eat. Couldn't go get gas. Couldn't go buy a pack of smokes. There were no liquor stores open on Sunday. There was nothing. There weren't grocery stores open on Sunday until we got a Walmart. People thought the world was going to fucking end then. That's not really the point of this story. That's just a little context to why I'm not a Sunday person. You know, I... As you all know, I've, I've lost my father in the last few months, and 20 years of my life doing everything that I've done and everything, I've not really had time to unpack a lot of this crap in my head. And while I've been taking care of mom and getting things sorted out and making a little bit of money here and there, and then in combination with drinking myself stupid sometimes to sleep, and smoking and swearing and talking to all you fine people on the internet. I've kind of started exploring some of these things in my head and working through them in you know, hopes maybe it helps others. And, you know, every once in a while we just need a fucking output. Good, bad, destructive, doesn't matter. Sometimes we just need a fucking outlet. You know, I was almost a prisoner in my own house for five years. Because of dad's dementia, it had really progressed, and life really beat his ass down. You know, he he grew up in the same town. You know, he moved here in 1960, if that tells you anything. This town was fucking Mayberry in the 1960s. You know, and, and he lived a good life. You know, he didn't want for things. You know, he wasn't very smart with money. You know, him and my mom both, they, they rode that whole recession upside down mortgage and financed up the eyeballs saying we're still paying those bills off now we're about done you know, we're in the home stretch at least we'll have a car in May that's ours and hopefully by then we'll move someplace we can afford to live without breaking us financially <laughs> between caring for my dad and taking care of my mom take care of my home I'm still making money and helping people online and and unpacking a lot of this shit, it's really given me a lot of time to think. And, and that's not really a good thing all the time. Shouldn't think too much. Shouldn't get stuck in your head. <clears throat> you know, I mean, how does somebody go through a lot of the stuff they go through in life without time to decompress? And the answer is you kind of bury it. You bury it deep inside and it turns to an incandescent burning ball of fucking anger and hatred. And had the uh, global war on humanity not happened, I wouldn't have a voice right now. Nobody would listen to me. You know, remember that slow burn I've been talking about, right? That's what they're doing. We're bleeding us dry. Financially, mentally... Spiritually, if you believe in such hooey. And uh, physically, they're, they're bleeding us dry. You know, they want to round all of us up. They want to take our firearms away. They want to enslave us, inter us, and then genocide us. The solution's pretty fucking final, isn't it? That's why I call this a war. If, if you don't think this is a war, you just haven't thought about it long enough. Remember when you could go smoking at Denny's? Remember when you could drink at the park? Pepperidge Farm remembers. 
we can still live in that world. We can be as free as we constitutionally allow ourselves. People just get uptight and bunged up about things. And I think that's part of my problem. Why haven't people seen the light? And the answer is they don't want to. You know, darkness before dawn, right? I get up early. I've been doing it for years. I deal with the old man. And that's okay. You know, it's about 3 a.m. I'm awake. We go shit, shower, shave, I brush teeth, do all that stuff, get something to eat. You know, this morning I had a burger and fries that was pretty good, you know. But sobriety is no way to go through life completely. But it's also not the answer either. You know, to be trashed every day. You gotta kind of find that balance between that sacred silence in your head and sleep. Like good sleep. And for me, unpacking the war inside my head and all the baggage along with it's really helped. You know, it might help others, it might not. I don't even know how many people actually listen to this shit all the way through. Sound off in the comments if you do. But that's just kind of some basic reflections and kind of an outlook at how I start my day every day. So, have a good one.